What's up guys? So today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be working on a planer and the issue is it has some stripped screws in it. So the guy that brought it to me uh, kind of boogered up several of them on one side to change the blades. So we're going to be using the Mac RBRT to try to get them loose. Now, granted, they're boogered up pretty good, the ones that's in it. So we might have to take some other measures to get it out, but it'll be a good test run for these Mac RBRT hex extractors. So let's see what they'll do. You guys, come on. All right, so this is the set we're gonna be using and it is a four millimeter, as you guys can see here, H4. And the set that this come out of is a four to a 10 and a quarter to three eighths and it is a three eighths drive. So that's gonna be the set that we're using today. All right guys, so what we got here is a planer. We're trying to take the blades out and where's the factory tool that they give you? So the problem is, he stripped them out. As you can see, he's trying to use this little factory tool. It's a four millimeter. So what we're gonna do, we got the RBRT four, and we're gonna seat it down in here. And we've already broke a couple of them loose. So the main thing is you gotta get these things bottomed out. goes so these bite in where the factory one that he had wouldn't so we're gonna try another one Let's see if we can get it loose but the main thing is to seat them and put downward pressure on them. All right, that one strips. Like you're not gonna win every time, but what we'll do is we'll try a larger one on there and try to drive it in. All right, that one's too long. So I'm gonna use the stubby. Cause I got this cable in the way. Yep, they come loose. So we got them all broke loose, except for two of them, this one and that one. So what I'll do is get a larger size and try to drive in there. That one's loose. It was this one, I think. Let me try it. So I can get a little bit larger size, maybe the SAE, and put in there. And uh, be able to break it loose. Yeah, that one's just spinning. So we'll try a little bit larger size, see if we can get them loose. We got them all but two. All right, so I had to go back to the old school way. You can see I welded nuts on them, and you can see they come right out. Obviously, we're gonna let them cool before we take them out. But sometimes, you know, when they're stripped, having an extractor will work great, like the RBRT, but you're not gonna win every time. Um, on the ones that wasn't bad, they worked great. We're gonna turn this thing over after I get these out and there's another blade that hasn't been molested with a cheap Chinese tool and uh, we'll try the RBRTs on those and I'll show you guys how that works. All right, so this is the other planter blade and you can see these are unmolested. 
So we're going to try the RBRT in these. I'll have to use the stubby one over here because of the cord. We're just gonna tap it to seat it. So that one's stripped automatically too. It's just cheap Chinese screws. So let's try another one. That's good. That one come loose. Come loose. And hopefully this one will come loose. Yep. So we got all of these except for one. Let me go grab that stubby one. by the way. end up welding two on this side as well this one and that one but we got the rest of them out so it is what it is like i say you're not gonna win every time with stripped screws so so we'll weld two nuts on these two and we'll be able to get them out and right here's what they look like on the welded nuts that i took out a while ago so we'll have another pair just like that and then we'll have to pick up some new screws. All right, so this is how we ended up fixing it this time. Um, of course, we got the new blade on and we used a 10 millimeter headed bolt and that way we won't have to worry about hex head screws anymore. So that's how we remedied the problem and that way we don't have to resort to that again. All right, so you guys see kind of how that works. Um, I believe on the first set, if they hadn't been rounded off so bad with the cheap Chinese tool that came with the planer, that would have probably got those out also. Um, of course, the planer had a lot of miles on it. It's pretty old. Uh, that's what he was telling me. So the screws were pretty tight. The, the problem was it's just a cheap Chinese metal you know, the RBRT actually bit into them and the screws that we got out, you could definitely see where they worked like they're supposed to. They bit into the, you know, the edges of it and the design works really great. Um, with that being said, you're obviously not gonna win everything when it comes to stripped hex bolts and stuff like that. So it's good to have them in your arsenal, but always have a backup plan, you know, as far as what you can do to get them out if that fails. 
and luckily, you know, was able to get in there with a welder and remedy the problem. But anyway, guys, that's the video today. Hopefully you like it. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. We'll catch you guys next time. See ya.